My name is Chris Wolf. Uh, I'm the International Director at Wellington College International. Uh, I have an office in a beautiful part of Wellington College in the UK. And I'm delighted to be here in Tianjin. It's my first visit to the college uh, and I've had such an amazing time. The students are so friendly, staff are so welcoming. Uh, you have a wonderful school. I've been so impressed by, uh, by the welcome that we've, we've all had. I'm here with a, with a group from Wellington in the UK uh, and we've all been made to feel so, so much a part of the community already. That, that sense of community comes through really strongly. Um, we, we've all been so impressed at the, the opportunities the student have uh, and we've also particularly been impressed with the, with the university outcomes that we've seen uh, and the way they're celebrated around the school. I think that's a really lovely thing to see. Wellington College values uh, are ones that are shared around the whole group uh, and they start in the UK and, and all of our campuses in China and elsewhere have the same values and you do see that around the school, you see that in the way the students engage with each other and with their teachers and the strengths of the relationships I think are a real, uh, a really impressive part of the whole, the whole group so we've seen that in all of the schools. Um, I think what, what, what I said earlier about the university plan Places is, is hugely impressive here. Uh, I know a young person in year 13 today got an offer from UCL, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and you've got the celebrations outside from students at Oxford and Cambridge and top US universities. That's a slight difference with Hangzhou. Their, their success in universities will come in the next few years. Um, but as the first school, the pioneer school here at Tianjin, uh, it's brilliant to see you celebrating that already. I think the thing that comes immediately to mind was the, the visits I had yesterday afternoon to the after school activities, the ASAs. Um, we started in the zoo. Zoology uh, Society. Uh, we met Coco the frog. Uh, we met a small salamander. Uh, we saw the sort of the vivarium with all of the plants and just just amazing things going on. And then we went next door and saw uh, robotics, uh, where the students were designing their own robots uh, to pick up different parts of, uh, of machines uh, in a sort of sort of competitive environment. So that was very impressive. We went to the theatre. We saw the rehearsals for The Wizard of Oz. And then we went to the music rooms and saw the orchestra pre preparing for. The, for the same thing. I went downstairs and saw the, the fashion club creating uh, sort of upcycled sustainable fashion in the style of Vivian Westwood for a show that's going to be part of the student graduation. Uh, all of that for me really captures what a Wellington education is all about. It's that breadth, that variety and the way the students were just utterly absorbed in everything that they were doing. It was, it was wonderful to see. My name is Rachel Loring. I have come from the Wellington College in Crowthorne, uh, where I am currently head of year nine. Um, I have just finished 11 years as housemistress of the Anglesey and senior housemistress. I love Wellington College Tianjin. It is such a warm and friendly place. Um, the students absolutely love coming to this school. Your staff are really, really uh, passionate about the children. Um, and they all have a love of their subjects. That's the thing that has come through in every lesson. Just continue to grow. Obviously you've got a new head, um, which um, is absolutely brilliant. I've really enjoyed getting to know her. I would say um, level of English has gone up hugely. Just in general, the conversations that the students are having. Um, I have been primarily looking at the boarding um, and it's been really nice to see how the boarding has progressed uh, under the new housemaster and housemistress. Um, and just actually chatting to really happy children. The most memorable class was the second lesson I went into, which was a further maths class, um, and just the level of debate and arguing, but in a really good way, girls and boys equally sort of giving their opinions, just so much energy in that classroom. Um, I really enjoyed going to the ASA activities last night, meeting the frog. You've, there's a very large frog upstairs, and walking through um, at the outside courtyard and seeing all of the little children singing, practicing for a song for their mums was lovely. Uh, I'm Rosie Hayward and I am the Deputy Head Academic at um, Eagle House in Crowthorne and uh, Head of Pre-Prep. Uh, it's got a very warm, welcoming community feel. Uh, we felt very at home here. Um, the, the staff and the children have been really friendly and welcoming. I have particularly loved visiting the nursery, uh, the bilingual nursery here, um, and seeing the um, children engaging in both Mandarin and English alongside each other and how closely that's interlinked. That's definitely been a, a key highlight for me. I think one of the things that really stands out for me here is the transitions between your bilingual nursery into the international environment. So the children um, and the staff make um, l create lots of opportunities for children to get to know the staff um, in, the, in the international school, I think. 
that's uh, that's been really lovely to see. Hi there, uh, my name is uh, Dean Claydon. I'm the head of primary support for Wellington College China. Uh, my job is to work with schools on innovative practice to provide the very best of education in terms of teaching and learning across our schools in China. Well, I've had a fantastic week this week uh, in Wellington College International Tianjin. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet the children and the staff. The thing that's really impressed me the most is the ongoing commitment to providing the very best of quality education in, in, uh, to serve the community actually here in, in Tianjin. Um, I visit the school quite often and I can see from each visit the progress that they're making uh, in terms of uh, teaching and learning practice. Uh, their commitment to the children, not only in the academic uh, sections of the school, but also uh, building the real Wellington identity and uh, ensuring that they teach children the Wellington values through their curriculum and through the, their teaching and learning. Um, there is a, a strong sense of uh, the academic rigour of English and maths and Chinese, but also on the side, it's the, all the extra parts of the whole child that are being developed. Um, so when we look at the programme that, that, that's been provided here, um, the sustainability development goals are a big, big part of the curriculum. And, prepare, and that's to help to prepare children for the, for the future, uh, the world that they're coming into. Um, so the children here get an opportunity to think about how they can be responsible citizens. How can they give back to the community? How can they support charities uh, both in China but also uh, globally in the world? And I think really that is the purpose of, of education. Yes, there is, there is the academic rigour, but there's the other part of how we contribute to society. And that's really come uh, strong. Uh, that's really come across as a, a, a great impression that I've had from the school. And that starts from right down in the nest, <laughs> all the way through into primary and continues into senior school. Um, so it's been an absolute pleasure to, to meet the staff and see how their, their vision for that has, has been realised. So one of the things that I've uh, been really impressed with and one of the highlights of the trip is learning more about the English language acquisition programme. Um, so basically what that looks like in practice is a very, very bespoke English programme that is tailored to each child's individual needs in English. So um, you, we can see that there are different levels of, of English um, across the, the, the school, but the team work very closely together to be able to plan a programme of study uh, that is suited to each individual child's English ability. Um, and what's really impressive about that is how the team work together. They focus on the child at the, at the heart and uh, use that to kind of build their English language skills. And then as you see through that programme, the progress that children make in, in their English ability is, is, is quite phenomenal. Um, and that comes from staff collaborating together, uh, working together, pulling on the strengths of the team, pulling on the knowledge that the teachers have here, the experience that they have all together to do the very best for children to uh, acquire that English language at the different stages in the school. One of the greatest things about being here at Wellington College International Tianjin is the sense of community and it really does feel like a, like a home. Um, Every time I come to visit the school, uh, there's a warmth here that you that you feel. You feel it in the corridors, you feel it in the classrooms, you feel it with staff, you feel it with children. Um, and I would really encourage um, any educator or parent or child to come and, and see what it's all about here. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Lana Kulas and I am currently the head of high school at Huili School, Shanghai. Um, so I've been to 
Wellington, Tianjin once before. Two years ago, I was a member of the review team. And I think the same thing that struck me then has struck me now. And that is what a lovely community that you have here, both in terms of your staff and your students. And one thing that is really evident wherever you go is the Wellington values um, and how you build those in everything you do. So whether that's with the way lessons are taught or with the way that students interact with each other or staff interact with each other. So I have a very positive impression of a very friendly and warm school. Um, I don't know if I would say there are specific differences, but what is really, really clear is that the school just keeps moving forward and there are always small improvements and small changes being made. And one of the biggest changes, I think, has been in the physical environment. So things like the new library, uh, just the visual of the building and the visual and how much of the students learning in, is being displayed visually. But um, I guess the impression I'm leaving with is of a school that's constantly looking for ways to be even better better than, than it already is and is constantly improving. I think it would be one of the lessons I saw, it was year 13 uh, maths and it was a statistics lesson and what was really lovely to see was how independent the students were. So they were doing a task that on the surface was quite simple, uh, which was looking at an exam answer that someone has written and deciding if they were the examiner, what mark would they give it. But what was lovely was you had two sides and they were arguing and they were saying, well, I would give it this many marks and I would give it this many marks. And it was just lovely to see how engaged and passionate the students were and that they were genuinely having a debate. And the teacher was just allowing them to debate to pick out the points. And yet they were also learning how to answer exam questions and they were learning about the maths that they were doing as well. Just a big thank Thank you to everyone from Tianjin for making us feel really welcome and looking after us.